beautiful souls i'm ace empress welcome to this reading this reading is the second part doing the remaining zodiac signs from libra to pisces what gift is santa giving to you this christmas we are going to use four decks for this reading you can watch this video from your rising and from your moon sign and just before we begin I am so happy to announce that I will finally be sell selling these crystal bracelets online. They are real. I'll be putting them up on my Instagram account. You can see them. You can also see what their uh, benefits are, how to use them. When you buy a crystal from me, you're going to get a free PDF written by me about how to use the crystal, what uh, its benefits are and how to cleanse it and how to use it to manifest things in your life i have a variety of crystals and currently i'll only be selling them in india we have a carnelian here this is a carnelian bracelet which is good if you have you know, pcod or pcos it's also good for your business we have amethyst uh, amethyst is uh, good for meditation if you meditate or if you want to inculcate that habit we have tiger's eye which is good for strength courage and if you want to pursue your goals and you lack that focus we have uh, amazonite this is so beautiful amazonite is the bracelet that you want to wear uh, when mercury retrograde affects you uh, it, it gives you name fame if you want to expand your business overseas or something it gives you that we have rose quartz this helps you attract soulmate twin flame towards you uh, and overall uh, you know builds love and uh, connections in your life uh, we have lapis lazuli it is good for lungs especially in this uh, covert situation even i wear it as a pendant you can also wear it as a bracelet to protect yourself from infections we have a seven chakra uh, combined bracelet so it has multiple stones in it like amethyst race rose quads or carnelian and stuff like that and we also have a combination that is like lapis lazuli plus uh, plus the seven chakras we also have an obsidian bracelet this bracelet is uh, if you want to avoid curses or somebody is jealous of you it removes that curse and uh, it doesn't let anybody think badly of you and put a spell or curse on you if you feel like there are people who are not good uh, and they do not wish you well then you can buy obsidian absolutely even i use it for i sometimes i keep it in my readings if you have seen it we also have a garnet garnet is like the promise of love and it purifies your blood and also if you have any disease uh, related to your blood it solves that um, if you feel cold always like you have a body that gets cold easily garnet will uh, you know uh, make your body warm we also have fluorite and another seven chakra a bracelet this will balance and cleanse and detoxify all your uh, chakras automatically so if you want to buy these just dm me on instagram the link is down below in the description box also if you do not know which you should buy you can dm me and ask me for guidance that is free okay if you want to buy then you can ask for the price and i will tell you there's no shipping and i'll ship all over india okay thank you guys hi nebra welcome to your reading what gift does santa have for you and oh boy i am excited you have the ring number 25 um it's like a promise ring or engagement ring look at it it says uh, in the book a precious item is what I am to bind in marriage and commitment. I bring harmony in unions and I am the contract and the promise in partnerships and ventures. I am the symbol for completion and form of eternal devotion. Wow! Ring is the symbol of commitment, 
and can speak of a contract being drawn up between two people or business partners. Ruby ring symbolizing commitment. Yeah, it's a ruby. In crystal lore, the ruby is a guarantee of economic stability. In some cultures, it was buried in foundations of buildings to assure good fortune. So overall, the gift is maybe commitment, good fortune, stability, uh, prosperity. So some of you are definitely getting that proposal. And you know what? Interesting fact that if you can't buy a ruby, people go for garnet. And garnet is uh, the stone of prosperity and the promise of love. It's like um, it brings you that one true love, like lifelong love. And also it helps you attract that. So if you wear this always on your hand, you're going to meet your future spouse, future husband or wife. It's kind of uh, blood red but it, you cannot see it but i'll try to show you uh yeah see this blood red it's like just like ruby so if you cannot buy ruby because ruby is very expensive you can buy it as you know garnet these stones are uneven because they are natural and they are raw. So next we have bring love into this situation. I would also like to read this card. It says Aquarius is all about progress and modernity. So this is the time to move forwards. New moon in Aquarius card means no looking back. Change is on its way and quickly. This card comes with a suggestion that you may need to do things independently on your own. So I feel like you may propose to somebody or you're about to and you're like i don't know if i should then this is your confirmation this is your you know that go forward green signal also this says all the colors match up so well they look like garnet things are about to get really juicy let's read a little heads up on an addiction that afflicts all really old souls Giving love eventually becomes even greater need than receiving love. See, you're not strange. So if you're somebody who loves more and you always feel like I am doing more than, you know, I ever get, you're not wrong. Uh, there needs to be a balance definitely. But uh, love is crazy. And love does not look at materialistic things. It does not practice sensibility. From the spirit message you got, life devoid of passion can be boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So not only your love life but your overall uh, life in general and your career is going to get a boost up. Uh, if you want to enhance it, wear a garnet, uh, wear a tiger's eye. I also feel like for some of you, you're going to meet your future person uh, through your career. And that's why this is here that if you're, uh, you know, into your passion and you're working towards it, your hard work, someone is going to notice that. And they are going to love you for that. And not because I don't see like a physical attraction is... Uh, is the main thing here the main thing is you yourself your passion your creativity and your individuality so libra this is your gift i hope you like this reading please like share subscribe and comment thank you hi scorpios welcome to your reading what gift does santa have for you first of all you have the key so you're going to get the key to something and it could be your house keys so you could be buying a house you're going to get a house a property land mostly it's house that is already built okay this could be funds uh, someone will give you money someone is going to open up to you i feel 
someone will express their feelings to you that you didn't know of that you were unaware of some kind of key is going to be presented to you this could be something that you wanted for a long time this says expect a powerful change it just means that anything that is happening or everything that is happening in your life right now is happening for a reason and is just our orchestration of the universe to prepare something big for you also it says time to take action so something big may come your way and it will be uh, the time to take action the steps necessary steps towards it this is already uh, going on or it will happen combined with this your uh, dreams are going to be fulfilled also we have three uh, so this could be six or three could be important for you also we have yeeha so i want uh, to say that enjoy uh, this journey the towards achieving your goals and success because it is going to be significant later on let's take a look at your spirit message it says have fun stop when was the last time you had fun when was the last time you took a chance and did something silly something totally unlike you something just for for the joy of it it's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun so definitely you might have went through uh, to a time where you're working working and working and you didn't have fun but that time is also going to come so definitely i see completion some blessing some uh, key some opportunity as your gift and a little bit of transformation so scorpio if you like this reading please like share subscribe and comment sagittarians welcome to your reading what gift does santa have for you so um you got the ring and ring is uh, such a beautiful card so commitment could be your gift you're going to propose to someone or someone is going to confess their feelings to you some of you might get engaged or married this is the promise of love this is the found setting the foundations okay someone might give you a ring it could be a ruby ring okay and uh, for some of you you want to confess your feelings but you're kind of hesitating you have that hesitation you're kind of contemplating whether you should say or not that's why uh, taurus um this card says your dreams need practical plan so yeah if you take a ring to somebody they're going to know that this uh, person like you are serious about them and you're not kidding and you're you're willing to work for this relationship i have hidden this card it's kind of 18 plus so yeah this says communication is the key so you need to communicate your feelings you need to tell them nothing is gonna go wrong if you feel like that person is gonna reject you no i don't think that's happening a commitment is definitely coming towards you maybe you're not even thinking long term but this person could be the one you know you never know if you want to say the right things at the right time you need to buy this garnet garnet is the stone that symbolizes uh love that uh, one true love and it's uh, like the uh, if you cannot buy ruby and you're not that rich you can buy garnet uh, people buy this as an alternative because it is uh, like the promise of love and the it symbolizes commitment it's kind of blood red if you cannot see that i'll show you uh, now you can see uh, it's blood red so you can buy this and you can have that courage to confess your feelings to your a favorite person you got this card it says you know what to do okay let's see in all battles of heart over mind go with your heart because truly it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than you than for your heart to catch up with your mind true a whole lot yeah so yeah this is a gift that you can give to yourself only if you muster up the courage your life is going to change after this 
So congratulations are in advance I feel like. So Sagittarians if you like this reading please like share subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching. Hi Capricorns welcome to your reading. What gift does Santa have for you this Christmas? We have uh, 22 and 42 so 2 and number 4 could be important for you. So why do we have 22 and 42? I feel like the gift is the gift of travel or the gift of your true north node or your true destiny that you're going to understand very soon. Santa is giving you the gift of what direction you need to take, what path you need to walk on to choose. You, you, you might be confused or you have uh, two choices or multiple choices. You're going to receive clarity as to where you want to go. Because this also says a new start is coming. Some of you will travel a lot and this might be your dream. And it's, it's not easy for this dream to come to fruition because it's going to need a lot of money and a lot of hard work. So you're not shying away from the hard work but the blessings are coming in now and uh, a new start is coming something is coming to fruition something that you're going to be you know grateful about i feel like very soon i also see violet as like the color of traveling the world or this is like expansion of your business new opportunities if you want to attract new opportunities and you want to uh, travel all over the world and expand your business, I suggest you buy an amethyst bracelet. Uh, we are going to um, sell this on online on my Instagram profile. Uh, amethyst will protect you on your way. It will help you do the hard work. Um, it will help you give you direction for your life also obsidian is the stone that protects you on long journeys it's like travel insurance and in crystal uh, you know folklore so also we have gratitude let's see what it says life is one big continuous cycle sorry circle of giving and receiving energy be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you will start to attract prosperity and abundance. This is what I was saying. It's going to come. You have to be grateful and you also have to be patient. When things start aligning for us, they do take time, but it's, it's never going to be that much late for you is what I see. So Capricorn, if you like this reading, please like, share, subscribe and comment. If you want a detailed reading, please DM me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. What gift does Santa have for you? First of all, we have the rider. I think this is the rider. So this card signifies news coming to you or you traveling somewhere. Or someone coming to you to deliver a news it can be a good news because we have the rainbow it's going to come out of nowhere and it's good news I say because this says luck is on your side a very weird and a very rare and unusual message I get is that for some of you this message is from your dad you are going to meet your dad Maybe he lives in a foreign country. This is a very specific message may or may not resonate with every Aquarius watching this. So I feel like you're going to visit a new place. And this journey is going to change your life forever. Whatever is coming your way, it will put a, a smile on your face. It's a kind of a, marks the start of one period in your life. This could also be like you're signing up for something and it's it's going to be fun. You got vulnerability, let's read. This is confirmation that you're seeking.
to trade into the unknown unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality don't let fear hold you back or allow misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition some change i feel like you're going to change maybe you're too small like you're like 16 or something and you're anything that is new coming uh, your way it's going to feel very big and very transformative it says you're adored don't be fooled by the players don't be fooled uh, by yourself there's no one more lovable not love than you and i know everyone so for so some of you maybe if your dad is not in this world this is his message coming to you and that is your gift that you're loved and you're protected and you're always blessed for some of you you're turning a uh, vegetarian or vegan so that is like overwhelming for you but it's a new journey and it's going to be fun and exciting too so aquarius if you like this reading please like share subscribe and comment thank you for watching hi pisces welcome to your reading you have four cards and what gift is santa going to give to you for some of you i feel like opportunity or its new doors are opening or you're going to buy a new home and your new home could be number four you know so you also got time so three and seven could be important for you um I feel like you have been waiting for a long time to buy this house and you have been praying and wishing and hoping for an opportunity that comes up. Um, for some of you, you're worried about your family. Maybe there's a lot of disturbance in your family and you keep quarreling with each other. Like something or the other happens uh, every day and uh, you keep fighting. So that peace is missing. I suggest you keep a rose quartz at your home or you wear it in your hand to cultivate more love, compassion and kindness uh, within you and your family members. It says conclusions are within reach. This card says that whatever is going on in your life right now, it's what your soul signed up for. So it's kind of a lesson you have to learn and you have to evolve uh, you have to allow the events to unfold and you have to be easy on yourself and you have to for be forgiving of people and what they are doing because everybody is here to pay some kind of karma right it says forgiving some people will set free or set you free of karma so there could be a family member in your house you kind of don't get along with and you have not forgiven them you need to forgive them and heal from this situation because it's kind of blocking your blessings from coming to you also when it comes to achieving your success materialistically it says confidence is your key to success if you lack confidence this card is a great omen um for any creative project for uh, any presentation it signifies good news and a new start tiger's eye bracelet really gives you that strength and confidence to move forward and achieve and conquer your goals and go after your goals and aims uh, without hesitating without uh, being confused or losing that focus so you can dm me to buy that but i feel like whatever is your issues are and that feel like a lot are kind of solvable so they're not like major but they're solvable by yourself and your gift is that if you solve these issues within your family within your house overall your life uh, you will see that you are attracting more uh, good times and blessings and abundance in your life so pisces if you like this reading please like share subscribe and comment if you want a personal reading dm me on instagram thank you for watching